Good morning guys, Wrangler here, and today we're going to look at James Madison Audits, who obviously doesn't know what hindering or interfering with the police investigation is about as he gets arrested in about 30 seconds. He's one of these idiots that wants to go up to officers in the street who are conducting business, who are doing their job, and start requesting all kinds of dumb shit that doesn't have anything to do with him just because he wants to be clickbait moron. Anyway guys, enjoy. A trespass. Let's take a look. What up, you guys? James Madison, I'll tell you right here in uh, Volusia County. This is Big Lots. They got a woman here. They're trespassing. And uh, that's what they're going to do now. I'm calling them recording. Man. I was uh, inquiring about you uh, available on uh, this property at 2420. I think it's, uh, it's next to Big Lots in Orange City. I was going to see what you uh, what we can do to get some information about this. One. I don't know if there's a proper number, but it says 2420. Where they set up tracks and everything. Excuse me. That sucks. Yeah, it stinks. Retail theft, man. That's the worst. And people start taking stuff, but you know. All right, you too. Time to go harass the officers for things that I'm not actually entitled to. All right, y'all have a good day. Thank you. They'll do Apple Pay. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, thank you. Hey, Deputy, sorry to bug you. Yep, we gotta go. I know. Can I just get a P number or an event number nope. from me? What do you mean, no? Like most frauditors, you don't understand. No means no. Why no? Sir, why no? Yeah, I just need yeah, the you don't need one. Just the last four yeah, of them. you can call the sheriff's office. It's none of your business. Why are you a dickhead? I'm not a dickhead. I just, why are you calling me a I'm doing a public records request for you. You can do that through the sheriff's office. I'm doing it to you directly. Florida You're, Statute 119 yeah. allows me to do that. Call the sheriff's office. you have office. a supervisor for a complaint? That's a close one. Holy sh**. Well, did the deputy instruct you to impede the movement of his cruiser? No. Swing and a miss. Time to go stalk the other deputy. <clears throat> do you mind? Do you mind if I get that case number? Now I turn to the other deputy to attempt to get a case number or information or even a supervisor. However, he waves and just drives off. All right. Well, let's see here. You uh, you weren't the subject of their call, so you're not entitled to an on-the-spot case number. You were not. They did not engage you in any way. They didn't hamper you. They didn't involve you in an investigation. So you're not entitled to a manager swinging a miss strike to. I followed these deputies for just a moment, and they weren't headed to any call in any emergency response. What they have on their computer would have been simple and easy just to provide, and even when we get up to the traffic light, this deputy fails to use his turn signals. Now, I don't believe this is Deputy Lowry. Let's go ahead and take a look at this next video. You're under no obligation to answer any of his questions. And that's stupid is interfering with an investigation. What did you say? You're under no obligations to answer any of your questions. Are you serious? Yep. Called Fifth Amendment. Oh, really? How yes, would sir. you know that? I've watched. And you know I what? Know. I have I have the right to ask you a question. I need to see your ID because you didn't cross that street in a crosswalk. I need to see your ID right now. 
I, need I don't to see think your so, ID. sir. If you don't give me your ID, I'm going to arrest you for resisting arrest. You crossed the for street. For resisting arrest. Re resisting where's, or impeding. Where's the their car? This is there's a no, There's no traffic. This is where a am I impeding? Actually, you were impeding the second you walked up and you started talking to his suspects when you had absolutely no knowledge of what he was investigating, what was going on. Second, I don't believe the jaywalking statute in the state of Florida says anything about there has to be no incoming traffic and it's cool for you to jaywalk. Swing and a miss. Arrest. I'll take this charge. Where no, am I impeding? You're going to identify yourself. These are the types of cops that we don't need here. So you, you really you really think that I don't have a right that that it's legal to cross without a crosswalk? Not with anybody else? Okay. The crosswalk down there. That's the reason I was stopping her. There's traffic. What's that? There's traffic. I'm not debating this with you. I'm telling you what the Florida law says. That when you cross the street in Florida, you have to cross the crosswalk. Anything other than this is in violation. That's why I was talking to her. And then you wanted to insert yourself in a conversation. So do you want to go to jail? I mean, the frauditor was trying to unsolicited give legal advice, which I believe in the state of Florida is also illegal. For resisting an officer in the presence of my official duties, or do you want to identify yourself? Because when you go to jail, if you don't identify yourself, you'll be booked under John Doe. And that vehicle that you just came for, from will be took. Be first. I'm giving you the opportunity. Okay. So I did speak to another deputy and asked for a case number. When I spoke to him, he was kind, gave the information, and even offered to put it on a business card. Thank you so much. I blurred the information and no, the voice right. out I, I, here, so but I did uh, ask him about uh, Officer Lowry. Let's hear what he had to say. Lowry. The other deputy with him laughed. Now, if you're wondering. The so here's my thing. Why put yourself in that situation? Yeah, it may be a piddly charge. It may have been freaking null prost. But my whole point is why put yourself in that kind of danger? Why put that officer in that kind of danger? You don't know. All right, guys, there's one more with one more dumb arrest that could have been prevented. But fortunately, he didn't get an officer or any innocent civilians hurt this go around. Eventually, one day, his luck's going to probably run out in that department. It's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.